What's up, Mets fans? Welcome back. Talking Mets with Rob. How's everybody doing? Before I get uh, started talking about uh, Major League Baseball and the proposal they made to the Players Union, uh, don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to press the like button at the bottom. And if you enjoy my videos and want to see more content, please subscribe to my channel. You're going to see a lot more videos coming up, guys. All right. Thank you very much for your support. All right. So we're going to get right into it, everybody. So MLB on Friday proposed to the union 154 game schedule with full pay to the players. And this season will also be delayed by a month and extended by a week. Also, expanded playoffs will be on the table as well. And at the moment, the union, the players union is going to be considering uh, this proposal. When this will happen, I don't know, but it'll probably happen soon because spring training is about two and a half weeks away. So what does this mean for the baseball season? So basically, instead of spring training starting in February, it's going to start in March. The season will start instead of the, beginning, the end of March, beginning of April. It's going to start the end of April. So all the baseball fans that were ready for getting ready for pitches and catches and spring training and looking at the team, looking at the roster, see how the team's going to uh, come together. You know, talk about, we're going to talk about scheduling soon, who will be facing opening day, all that. That's all going to get pushed back most likely. Um, there's no guarantee yet. We have to wait for the players union to make their decision. Um, this seems like the extended playoffs was pushed into this proposal just to give a little bit of an incentive to major league baseball as well. And this will probably lead to the players union says, we'll do this as long as you put the DH in there. So it's going to be a negotiation tactic back and forth. And I'm assuming in, a, in about a week or probably in about a few days or a week, or maybe by the end of the week, we might find out exactly what's going to go on with the season, if it's going to start on time or not. Because the MLB and the Players Union can't really wait too long because you can't have everybody going to spring training and traveling to the spring, spring training facilities and they don't have this proposal figured out. Because you can't have people going and traveling to spring training and then tell them, all right, you know what? We're not going to play uh, until next month. And you have to come back next one, next month. So that's really not something that Major League Baseball wants to do. And I know the players probably don't want to do that either. So for us baseball fans, this would suck. But we understand because of the coronavirus that this can be a major issue. But the reason why um, I understand I don't understand this is that even if you push it the season back a season ahead a month and we start in late April and spring training starts in March, what is really going to be the difference? Is it going to keep get more people to be safer, more players to be safer, the, their families to be safe? Not really, unless there's something that might happen with major league baseball uh, mandating that the players should be vaccinated. And if that's the case of having that one month gap, then I'm all for it. Because all this is not really going to change. The players, in instead of traveling in February and traveling in March and traveling in April to the spring training facilities and to the cities they're going to for opening day, they're just going to be traveling and they're still going to be exposed to the virus. Their family is going to be exposed to the virus. And it's not really going to change anything. It's just going to, slow it down a little bit when they start in the late start in the late April. So if you're not gonna if they're not gonna mandate vaccinating the players, then pushing this 154 game season and starting the season in late April doesn't make a lot of sense. All it does is make everybody wait longer for the season to start, for spring training to start. And I, I don't think it makes a lot of sense. And I know safety is a big key. I get that. But when it comes to safety, all you're doing is slowing down the inevitable. People are probably still going to get the virus. Players are still going to get the coronavirus. They're going to get infected. Their God forbid their families might get affected. It's not really like they're going to, you know, decide if they're going to go into a bubble again. That's not even on the table. So they're going to be traveling. 
just a little bit later into the year. Instead of March, instead of February, they're going to travel to spring training in March. Instead of April, early April, they're going to travel to the cities for opening day in the end of April. So the virus is an issue. We know that. But if you're not going to vaccinate the players, if you're not going to say we're going to pay for vaccinations for these pay players so that they can travel throughout the country and they don't have to worry about getting infected, infecting their families and infecting other people, especially if they're going to be fans at the ballpark. So the issue that I'm having, which I understand the proposal, I get it. But the reason why this proposal was put in the player's lap and the player's union lap is because of the whole uh, Maricopa County in Arizona about the spike they're having in cases of positive cases. And they proposed to Major League Baseball to push back spring, push ahead, push back spring training a month so they can get a handle on this uh, virus in Arizona. So they don't want the teams traveling there and the players traveling there and having spring training games, having fans in the ballpark because of the virus is so high in Arizona. So that's the reason why MLB proposed this to the union. But don't, don't think for a second that Major League Baseball didn't want a 162-game season. They did. They're dropping in eight games. They're not dropping in 100 games. So what is the difference between eight games the 162 and 160, 154, not much. You're pushing everything back a month to the, the, the to spring training in March. The season's starting in the end of April. I just don't really understand why it's that difficult to start the season on time. Granted, the virus is an issue. I get that. But if you're not going to vaccinate the players, the whole point of pushing – back the season a month and spring training a month is really not going to make much of a difference. The, the, play, the teams and the players already have safety measures in place from 2020, from that season. They knew what to do. They, they, they know their grounds. They know what they're supposed to do. There will be a lot more travel throughout the country, but they know the wear the mask. They know they have safety precautions in the clubhouse, uh, in the hotels, they have all those rules in place. So unless you believe that all the teams and all the players are not going to follow these rules, then what is really the point of any of it then? Start the season on time, or if you're going to push it back a month and the season starts in late April, vaccinate the players. That I, I know it's, you know, it's the most vulnerable, but... At this point in time, the majority of the people of this country are allowed to get the vaccine if they want to. And it's just not completely understandable, at least to me, why the season would start later. It's They seem like they're just using this as a tactic to get what they want. Both sides, Major League Baseball and the Players Union. The players' union wants the DH. The, the Major League Baseball wants the expanded pro season. Who knows what else? They might want the runner on second. They might do that extra inning thing. They might do God knows what else. Seven inning game. It, it's I think all of this is not for player safety or for fan safety. It's about what can Major League Baseball get to make more money and the players to get more money, which is fine. It's a business. But to push it back for so for only the reason to get a leg up on negotiations is not the way to go about it. If you're going to delay the season a month, vaccinate the players. It solves a lot of issues. More people are safe. The players are safe. Their families are safe. The fans, for the most part, are safe. And when the players go around to different countries when they're traveling, they don't have to bunker down in a hotel room when they're on the road. They can live their life a little bit on the road. It just makes a lot more sense to vaccinate the players. A lot of people might not like might not like that take, but at the end of the day, you are vaccinating people in this country. 
even though they're players and umpires and owners and GMs, everybody who's associated with the team traveling. But at the end of the day, it protects more people. All this is doing is blocking people from traveling, the players first, to spring training. And then in a month, it's not like the virus is going to be completely gone and everything's going to be A-OK in this country. So start the season on time. You want to take eight games away, just so you know, you can make sure you get through the season, postseason won't be affected, everything like that. But I can almost guarantee you, if these players are not vaccinated and the virus is still running rampant for the most part in this country, there will be players who catch the virus Games will be postponed. Some might be even canceled. But there will be a situation where a team, just like we saw in 2020, just that they'll have a lot more room to make up these games in 154 games or 162 games. You have a lot of months to figure that out. Less off days, you got to understand, because a lot of the times you're going to have to play these postponed games on days off and it's not like we were traveling, like we were traveling locally or regional before, in to, like in 2020. You know, what happens if a game is postponed and the Mets are playing in Los Angeles? But that's the only trip to Los Angeles in 2021. So on their day off in, say, September, they got to travel all the way to Los Angeles to play one game? That's insane. And that's what's going to happen. If you're going to postpone the game, the season a month, vaccinate the players. It might piss a lot of people off, but at the end of the day, you got to look at it two ways. One, you vaccinated more people rapidly and you keep more people safe while these people, are, these players are traveling almost once or twice a week all year, almost in six months of the season. And you protect the people that they are close to. If they interact with fans while they're on the road or at home going into a stadium and they also protect their families and they protect the players around them who they're playing with and the managers and the coaches and the umpires and the field crew and the grounds crew, everything, everybody they interact with, they interact with a lot of people. So it just makes sense. If you're going to push it back a month, figure out a way to vaccinate all the players and the coaches and the managers and the umpires. It makes a lot of sense. It takes some work, but if you're going to postpone the season a month, make sure you have a plan in place of why you're doing that. The push, they're only pushing it back a month. Don't let them fool you. They're pushing it back a month because it's a negotiating tactic. That's all it is. Major League Baseball wants extended postseason. Major League Baseball wants that extra inning rule, the man on second, and possibly double header seven in the games. That's all it is. So just to recap, guys, Major League Baseball made a proposal to the players' union of 154 game schedule with full pay, delaying it by a month. So spring training will begin in March. The season will begin at the middle at the end of April, and the season will be extended a week in September, uh, past September. So, and expanded postseason. So th the union right now is considering that proposal. We'll probably get some in a few days of exactly what they want. I guarantee you what they're going to, there's a pretty good chance that the players union is going to come back with the DH. And the only way they're going to accept this proposal is if they get the DH and whatever other incentive they're going to put into that proposal. So that's what it is right now. Hopefully you find some better news. Hopefully we start the season on time. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, press the like button. If you enjoy my channel, enjoy my videos. Don't forget to press the subscribe uh, button for my channel. And you can get all the notifications you want when I, get, when I post my videos. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Let's go, Mets.